Hey there, fellow time travelers of the TV realm. Remember those good old days when the clunky television sets lit up our living rooms with the magic of the small screen? Ah, nostalgia is a powerful thing, isn't it? Well, today, I'm taking you on a trip down memory lane to the year 1972 when the iconic TV series, MASH, first graced our screens. Now, before we dive into the fascinating world of random facts about the show, let's pause for a moment. Do you recall the hushed excitement that filled the air as you settled in to watch M.A.S.H.? The laughter, the tears, the unforgettable characters, they all became a part of our lives, didn't they? I'm curious, what are your fondest memories of those evenings spent with Hawkeye, Trapper John, Radar, and the gang? Was it the witty banter, the heartfelt moments, or perhaps the clever ways they navigated the chaos of the Korean War? Share your cherished moments, characters, and experiences from M.A.S.H. Let's relive those golden days together. And now, my friends, as the curtain rises on this journey into the trivia and tidbits about M.A.S.H., fasten your seatbelts because we're about to embark on a fascinating ride through the behind-the-scenes magic that made this show a timeless classic. So, grab your popcorn and join me in exploring the world of M.A.S.H., where humor and humanity intertwined like never before. MASH, a groundbreaking TV series that aired from 1972 to 1983, was a brilliant blend of comedy and drama set against the backdrop of the Korean War. Developed from the 1970 film of the same name, the show followed the chaotic lives of the staff at the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, a team of doctors, nurses, and support personnel working tirelessly to save lives and maintain their sanity in the midst of war. The series boasted a cast of iconic characters, including Hawkeye Pierce, Trapper John McIntyre, Radar O'Reilly, Hot Lips Houlihan, and Colonel Sherman T. Potter, each contributing their unique quirks and charm to the show. The genius of M.A.S.H. lay in its ability to seamlessly blend humor and poignant drama, tackling serious issues like the horrors of war, morality, and the human condition while delivering laughs. Its unique style was defined by the witty banter, irreverent humor, and memorable catchphrases, often accompanied by a memorable theme song. M.A.S.H. pushed boundaries with its anti-war and anti-establishment stance, making it a reflection of the Vietnam War era. The impact of M.A.S.H. on popular culture is immeasurable, as it not only achieved critical acclaim and high viewership during its run, but also left a lasting legacy in the world of television. It was one of the most watched TV series finales of all time, with over 100 million viewers. Its influence can still be seen in the way TV shows today tackle serious themes with humor, and it remains a beloved classic, celebrated for its wit, wisdom, and enduring relevance. In the 1972 TV series M.A.S.H., the character Klinger, played by Jamie Farr, was known for wearing dresses as part of his attempts to get discharged from the army. Many of Klinger's early dresses were inspired by Hollywood movie stars like Vivian Lee, Betty Grable, Mae Whitty, and Judy Garland. However, as the show progressed, more original and creative outfits were used for his character, adding to the humor and uniqueness of the series. Jamie Farr and Alan Alda were two main cast members of M.A.S.H. who had actual military service experience in South Korea. Farr was drafted and served in Japan at Camp Drake before touring and performing throughout South Korea with his friend Red Skelton. On the other hand, Alan Alda voluntarily enlisted in the Army Reserve after graduating from Fordham University. He completed a minimum six-month tour of duty as a gunnery officer in South Korea, gaining first-hand experience that would later inform his portrayal of Hawkeye Pierce. In an interview, Harry Morgan, who played Colonel Sherman T. Potter in M.A.S.H., expressed his fondness for the role, stating that he wanted to play Colonel Potter forever. This sentiment highlights the impact of the character and the show on the actors who brought it to life. These behind-the-scenes insights into the actors' experiences and the creative choices made in M.A.S.H. provide a deeper understanding of the iconic series that captured the hearts of viewers for over a decade. When Wayne Rogers left the series, he was sued for breach of contract. The case was dismissed when it was discovered that Rogers had never physically signed his contract, therefore making it invalid. In 1972, the TV series M.A.S.H. saw a significant moment when actor Wayne Rogers, who portrayed the beloved character trapper John McIntyre, departed from the show. However, his exit was not without its legal twists. Rogers found himself facing a breach of contract lawsuit. Surprisingly, this legal battle had an unexpected resolution. 
The core of the dispute revolved around the terms of Wayne Rogers' contract. It was alleged that he had violated the terms of his agreement by leaving the show prematurely. However, a surprising detail came to light during the legal proceedings. Wayne Rogers had never physically signed his contract. As a result, his contract was deemed invalid, leading to the dismissal of the lawsuit against him. This unexpected turn of events highlights the complexities that can arise in the world of television contracts. In the end, Wayne Rogers' departure from MASH and the subsequent legal dispute left a lasting mark on the show's history. In summary, Wayne Rogers' legal battle over his MASH contract came to an unexpected conclusion when it was revealed that he had never physically signed the document, rendering it invalid. This unique case serves as a reminder of the intricacies that can accompany contracts in the world of entertainment. Rosie's Bar in MASH, inspired by Seoul's Rose's Bar, served as a popular hangout spot near Camp Mosier in South Korea during the Korean War. This area bustled with nightlife, primarily for U.S. military personnel. However, post-war, it transformed into a residential zone. Unfortunately, Rose's Bar met its end in 1971, making way for small apartments, marking the passage of an era. In the 1984-1985 season, MASH spawned three spin-offs simultaneously, after MASH, Walter, and Trapper John, M.D. These shows allowed fans to explore different facets of the beloved MASH universe. Radar's teddy bear, a sentimental touch in the series, once resided at the Smithsonian. In 2005, it fetched $11,800 at auction, reminding us of the enduring affection fans hold for this iconic character. MASH, with its rich history and enduring legacy, continues to captivate audiences even decades after its debut. It's a testament to the show's lasting impact on television. The filming location for the exteriors of the 4077th MASH camp is today known as Malibu Creek State Park in Malibu, California. Formerly called the Fox Ranch and owned by 20th Century Fox Studios until the 1980s, as of late 2018, the site has been returned to a natural state and again by a large 2018 brush fire. The site is marked by a rusted jeep and an ambulance used in the show, as well as a small sign. The state park is open to the public. It was also the location where How Green Was My Valley and Planet of the Apes were filmed. This iconic site, once a bustling set for one of television's most beloved series, now stands as a testament to the passage of time and the enduring appeal of MASH. As we bid adieu to the realm of the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, it's time to reflect on the timeless masterpiece that is the 1972 TV series MASH. This iconic show has etched its indelible mark on our hearts, providing a tapestry of laughter, camaraderie, and poignant moments that have stood the test of time. Perhaps you've shared laughs with Hawkeye Pierce, felt the warmth of the swamp, or admired the resolute strength of Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan. MASH has woven a unique connection with each of us, a connection that transcends the decades. Now, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal journey with MASH. What were the moments that made you laugh until your sides hurt? Which character's evolution resonated with you the most? What life lessons did you glean from this remarkable series? Share your favorite memories and thoughts about MASH with us, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this show that has touched the lives of so many. Your stories are a testament to the lasting impact of MASH on our culture and on you. Thank you for your time and your unwavering interest in the world of MASH. Together, let's keep the spirit of this beloved series alive and thriving.